Welcome to the Blazor Hybrid Beginner Series. I'm your host, James Montemagno. I'm a program manager on the developer community team here at Microsoft. I've been building mobile and desktop applications for a long time, and I'm really excited to show you how you can leverage Blazor to build hybrid applications that span mobile, desktop, and the web as well. Now, in this series, we're going to talk all about what Blazor is, what Blazor Hybrid is, what .NET MAUI is, and so much more. We're going to dive deep into how this technology works, how to get set up, how to build UI, how to access APIs, and so much more. But before we get started, I want to talk about and explain a little bit about what Blazor Hybrid is. And to understand that, we need to go one step below, which is what is Blazor? And in fact, one step below that, which is what is Blazor part of? Blazor itself is a full stack web platform that enables developers to build web apps completely in C-sharp in a component-based manner. It is part of ASP.NET Core. ASP.NET Core is a web platform that enables you to build web apps, websites, services, background services, APIs, and so much more for microservices and AI and anything that you can imagine for the web, all in C-sharp and .NET. And Blazor is part of that. The cool part about Blazor is that everything you write is in C-sharp. So when you want to execute a button click, for example, instead of calling JavaScript, it will call your C-sharp code and it'll execute just like you would expect it to work. And that's really cool as a C-sharp .NET developer. I just write C-sharp .NET code and it runs. Now, I also said that it's component-based, which means you can write small components and share them across your application or across multiple applications that are running in the web. Now, there's a vast ecosystem that works across all of .NET, ASP.NET Core, and Blazor. And what that means is that you can get up and running today and be super productive. Now, Blazor itself is really flexible. In fact, there is three modes that we're going to talk about. First is Blazor Server. Blazor Server is a traditional server model where when you click on a button and it calls your C-sharp code, that C-sharp code is executed on the server. Any of the diffs in the DOM are sent down automatically through Signal R and it's updated in real time. You just write C-sharp code, you write your Razor and your HTML and it's handled for you automatically. Now the second scenario is called Blazor WebAssembly. This enables you to build applications that run directly into the browser. Now, what's great about this is that that means your applications can run fully offline. Now, that also means that when your user clicks on a button, that the C-sharp code is executed, but it's run in the browser with WebAssembly, which is an open technology that enables multiple languages and runtimes to work directly in the browser. And any of the modern browsers work across mobile, desktop, and more with WebAssembly. Now, what's really great is that Blazor Server, Blazor uh, WebAssembly work pretty seamless together in a blended mode. So if you're building web apps, you can use those technologies together or separate. Now, I said there's a third mode. Now, this is really important because it's what we're going to talk about today. Where Blazor Server needs a server, Blazor WebAssembly needs WebAssembly itself to run, there's a third mode called Blazor Hybrid. And really, Blazor Hybrid, to me, is an extension of existing .NET frameworks where .NET runs already. So specifically things like Windows, for example, with Windows Forms or WPF. .NET runs inside of these Windows applications. And what Blazor Hybrid does is it builds and gives you a Blazor Hybrid web view to take those Razor components and all of that Blazor infrastructure and run it directly inside of a WinForms or a WPF app if you're building Windows applications. This means your entire applications could be, for example, Blazor, or just one or two screens that you're looking to modernize. And since it's running inside of a Windows application, it means that you have access to all the Windows APIs. But Blazor Hybrid isn't just on Windows with Windows Forms and WPF. It's also available as part of .NET MAUI, the multi-platform app UI. And what's great about .NET MAUI is that it enables you to build out iOS, Android, Mac, and Windows applications all in C-sharp and .NET, taking advantage of an entire ecosystem of .NET. Basically, iOS, Android, Mac, and Windows are available as part of .NET, which means all the APIs of those platforms are available. So everything that's available on iOS, Android, Mac are available. And on Windows, it's a WinUI 3 application 
powered by the Windows app SDK. So those base layers are there, and then .NET MAUI builds on top of it. .NET MAUI gives you a common abstraction of the entire user interface stack of those different platforms and of the native APIs as well. And we're going to take a look in this video series of how to access those native APIs in addition to building out user interfaces with Blazor Hybrid. Now, with Blazor Hybrid and WinForms WPF or .NET MAUI, you have access to a Blazor WebView control. Now, this is going to run using the native WebView, so you can get WebUI stylized with all your CSS and everything that you know and love inside of the native apps. So on Windows, for example, it'll use WebView 2 or the native web controls on the different platforms. Since it is exposed as a Blazor hybrid WebView control, it means that you're able to mix and match the UI with native and web. That makes it a hybrid application. So this is really, really neat. So you can have your application be 100%, all 100% Blazor in your Razor components, or it could be a little bit of Blazor and a lot of native, or a lot of Blazor and a little bit of native based on what your application needs. It's very flexible. But in either case, whether it's 100% over here with web UI in a hybrid world, or just a little bit of a mix and match, you still have access to those underlying native APIs. Now, for this video series, we're going to leverage Blazor Hybrid with .NET MAUI using Visual Studio 2022. This means that we're going to see how to not only build out applications with .NET MAUI and leverage Blazor Hybrid for iOS, Android, Mac, and Windows, but we're also going to see how we can share code with .NET MAUI with our Blazor web applications. That's what we're going to do from start to finish in this video series. Now, what I love here is that it's about performance and flexibility. Since Blazor Hybrid runs natively inside those WebView controls, it does not need access to a server or WebAssembly. It is going to run on the existing .NET runtime that is powered by WinForms, WPF, or .NET MAUI. So that means you get the full .NET available to you, every single bit of it. And you can take advantage of the entire ecosystem of Blazor or those native different frameworks that are there. So, the next video what we're going to do is we're going to get set up everything that we need in Visual Studio 2022. I'm even going to show you how to get set up in Visual Studio Code. And then from there, we're going to start building our application, accessing APIs, sharing code, and doing so much more. So stay tuned and definitely check out all the links below for everything you need to know about Blazor Hybrid and .MAUI. So stay tuned.